And we're back. Yeah, we're back in the temple where we belong. <laughs> we have some potion now. Yeah, looks like Code Red. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, best of all Mountain Dew flavors. I thought they brought... Did they bring it back permanently or did they just bring it back for a limited time again? Uh, I think... I think it's back permanently. I know, uh, we had a case of it a little while ago. <laughs> oh, excuse and me. I got a grand total of one can. <laughs> Your sister? Yep. <laughs> that, that's why... Like that that case of uh, guarana I I got I just have it in my room. <laughs> I love that stuff. Yeah, it's good. It's got a lot of sugar in it though. Does it? Mm-hmm. Like more than other pop? I don't know actually. Yeah. <laughs> I, I avoid I, I kind of I don't avoid pop in a sense of like I don't drink it at all anymore. But I just God damn I try to prioritize like water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, I, did, I definitely limit how much I drink. Because, I mean, ba it is basically... When you when you have a can of pop, you're basically just having a big old chunk of candy. <laughs> of liquid candy. Yeah. Hey. These guys look cool. A nut. <laughs> I've got a nut! So let's leave it. Alright, so there's a door there. Probably can't get there yet. <laughs> that guy just fell. Yep. Thud. And it died. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's see what's through here. Oh, this is be this is beautiful. I've actually never understood, like, how this dungeon's set up. You're inside a tree, but now it's like you're in, like, a forest with the dungeon's multiple trees. Huh. Maybe it's just, like, the tree's the entrance? To, like, a, a grove full of trees? Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's all it is. Fine. <laughs> Fine, you get to live, fuck you. <laughs> It's a, it's a good lesson in life. If you're annoying enough, people will just let you have whatever you want. <laughs> you got a small key! Alright. <sighs> find a locked door to open. There was one. Was there? Behind the spider that you made fall. Oh, it says in this area. Does it mean it, just yeah. like the dungeon it, as a whole? Yeah. Okay. I, actually, it's funny to me. Maybe it's just a conveyance thing, but it's funny to me that you say that. Because I remember my very first time playing any Zelda game, I thought the exact same thing. <laughs> like, I, I should actually say, the first time I ever played this game, I thought the exact same thing. In this exact same spot. And yeah. I ran around in this dungeon for a while trying to find the key for this door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I couldn't figure out where it was. Well, in... If I remember right, in Ocarina, it just, like, straight up says dungeon. Yep. Yeah, cut that plant. Yeah, get out of my fucking... The sunflower's gotten a little too big for its britches. It's, I don't know if it's a sunflower. <laughs> Those don't... Like, it's more of a Venus flytrap kind of thing. I was about to say, surprise there's not a Pokemon based off of Sunflower. There is. Is there? Yeah, Sunflora. <laughs> I guess the naming guys were out of the office that day. <laughs> That's the boss key. Okay. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, uh, yeah, we got a new Pokemon named... Uh, uh, Modeled after a dog, we just call it uh, God. Husky. <laughs> what did you call it? I couldn't hear you over my stupid joke. A husky. A husky. <laughs> uh. I actually am getting pretty excited for Sun and Moon. Oh yeah. X and Y like rejuvenated my interest in Pokemon. I, I keep meaning to like sort of catch up. 
on the news about Sun and Moon. Because, like, there are the different forms of Pokemon in there. Yeah. But, like, I, I keep forgetting to actually look up what it all means. What do you mean, like, a new form? Yeah. Well, like, the... Like, you... For sure, they've already shown off uh, Vulpix. Oh, yeah. And instead of a fire type, it's an ice type. Oh, yeah. And it's, yeah. like, white and silver and whatever, and so is Ninetales. Huh. But it's... You know, like, you can still get the original Vulpix. It's just probably... You can only get it through trading or whatever from another... From a version that already has it. Oh, yeah. And there's supposedly a water type Arcanine. Hmm. I'm curious as to what they're going to change, if it's just going to be... Because, like, the, the Vulpix and Ninetales, like, ice types do look slightly different. Oh, yeah. So I'm curious if, like, something as drastic as Arcanine being a water type, if he's going to have, like, fish scales or something instead of fur. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't know what they're going to change. Yeah. But I actually, like, when they first announced the forms, I was like, uh, whatever. Yeah, but, like, it seems weird that... Like, they wouldn't just kind of introduce them as new Pokemon. Yeah, but that's, that's actually exactly what I thought of, is now it becomes more, uh, how to put it, more, like, realistic to catch them all. If it's, there's not new Pokemon, there's new versions of Pokemon. So it's, I don't know how to put it, like, uh, uh, instead of there being... 850 Pokemon, there's the same number, but the ones that already exist have different forms to collect. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to really put my... I was against the forms for the exact reason of, well, why don't they just make a new Pokemon? But there's so many new Pokemon that are so dumb, in my opinion, <laughs> that when I see, like, the old ones getting new forms, I'm like, oh, that's good, that's whatever. Although, like, I mean, I, I like... All the new starters they introduced. Yeah. And uh, X and Y had some really good designs. But X and Y only had something like 15 new Pokemon. Everything else was like Gen 4 and Gen 5 mis max mix maxed, mismatched in there. Yeah, I guess. But that's, that's what I mean is like, I think every gen has a handful of really cool looking and interesting Pokemon. Yeah. But it's just, I, I find the majority of them are uninspired now. Yeah, well I... The majority... <laughs> I've See, never yeah. seen that happen before. They, the majority of them in a red and blue, I don't think were like anything all that special. No. I, I think that's a problem the series as a whole has. Yeah. But it's just... I don't know. I, I feel like it's... Yeah, it's... It, like any time you're creating upwards of a hundred, you know, fantasy creatures, Yeah. some of them are going to be kind of dumb or like just regular animals or whatever. Yeah. I, I also feel that this, for some reason, I don't know how to put it, but I, I feel like they've taken the cartooniness a little too far on some of them. Oh, yeah. Like, I think Garchomp is, like, a good example of it's it's just cool. It's just a straight-up cool Pokemon. And in Gen 1, for example, I'm not, I'm not like, a Gen 1 <laughs> was so much better than everything else kind of guy. I'm just, as an example, because I grew up with it, Yeah. I, I think Gen 1 had more Pokemon like Charizard and Gyarados... That were like, that were, they were clearly Pokemon, but they were also like fierce looking. And then you have yeah. Pokemon now, and even the quote unquote fierce looking ones look like they're like. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> but I mean, even I'm Dudley the Dragon, with, like Dudley Dragonite. Dragon. Dragonite's like Dudley the Dragon. Dude, but I love Dragonite. I know. I, I'm just saying. Like, I feel like it's it's sort of lost its and, essence. And honestly, I'm I'm not a big fan of Garchomp's design. Really? I, I think it looks more like a Digimon. That's true. Because like, e even Charizard and Gyarados, like they're pretty cartoony looking. Well, yeah. I just I don't know how to really put it into words. There was maybe maybe there was just nostalgia blindness at a point in my life, and now I'm biased against the specific gens. Yeah, I I mean I think everyone has that kind of thing. Yeah, because playing X and Y, like I I remember when I. Uh, I, I'm, tr I'm trying to think of a specific Pokemon, and I can't think of any right now, but you're, you are supposed to backtrack. Okay. Because now you can go to the door on the other side of that big room. Oh, yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I can't think of specific Pokemon, but there were there were definitely Pokemon where I was like, that looks fucking dumb. And then, in, <laughs> and then X and Y, there was like a floating sword, and I was like, oh, yeah, just because I was willing to be open-minded about it, you know? Wait, what was X... 
was that one f created for X and Y? And I think that was a Gen 5 Pokemon, but that was oh. the first time I'd seen it. Because oh. I never played Gen 4 or Gen, 3, or Gen 5. Gen 3 oh, was yeah. the last one I played. Hmm. Which is funny, because, like, don't you own uh, one of black and or white? Yeah, I own white version, but I never played it. <laughs> wait, no, wait, that's not entirely true. I started a new game, and then lost interest in Pokemon, and then forgot I had it for years. And it wasn't until well after X and Y came out that I was going through my DS games, just like, what? <laughs> and then I, I put it in my 3DS, and, like, the save file was from, like, three years ago or some shit, and I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, like, bef before X and Y, uh, Gen 2 was, like, the last time I'd really gotten into it. I think Gen 2 is my favorite one. Yeah. I yeah, really well, wish I had the foresight to get Soul Silver instead of Heart Gold when they remade them. Because hmm. my logic was, oh, I have Silver, so I'll get Heart Gold. And then now I just, I think about how I want, like, a more modernized Lugia, and I'm like... But now there's so much money! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey there. <laughs> hey, little guy. Hey. <laughs> Fine. He's gonna try and throw it over the edge. Puts but... through the effort of picking it up just to toss it like a foot in front of him. <laughs> but yeah, like I'd seen occasional episodes of like the anime in Gen 3. Mm. And I just. Like, I didn't really like most of the designs I saw. Yeah. Like, uh, I thought Trico was pretty cool. Well, <laughs> that's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if Rob can figure out what he's supposed to do in this room next time. Yeah. Maybe more Pokemon talk in a Zelda game. Maybe. We're Nintendo fanboys. <laughs> like, the funny thing is, like, I'm not even really no. that much. I love it Nintendo, but I'm not, like, someone who's like, oh, the Wii U is better than the PS4 because the Wii U is hated so much undeservingly and that makes it better. Yeah. No, I like the Wii U just fine and I like the PS4. I just, I'm also a Nintendo fan. Yeah, like, there are just sort of a few franchises that I grew up with and Zelda and Pokemon happened to be two of them. <laughs>